Wolves are steeped in legends throughout history. The predator's powerful nature, piercing looks, and spine-tingling howls continue to inspire both adoration and controversy around the world. There are two major species of wolves. One species is the Ethiopian wolf, or Canis semensis. Only about 500 of these wolves exist, and they inhabit the mountains of Ethiopia. The majority of the world's wolves belong to the species called gray wolf, or Canis lupus, numbering up to around 250,000 and including up to about 40 subspecies, gray wolves are scattered across the Northern Hemisphere. Wolves vary greatly in size. The smaller wolf subspecies inhabit the desert regions of the Middle East. They stand at an average of about 26 inches tall and weigh less than 45 pounds. The larger wolf subspecies live in the Northern regions of Asia and North America. The canines usually stand up to 36 inches tall at the shoulder and can weigh up to 175 pounds, making them the largest wild members of the dog family. Wolf packs are ruled by an alpha male and an alpha female. Wolves are highly social creatures and operate as a group, or pack. Often comprised of six to ten wolves, packs are cohesive units that hunt and live together. Within the packs, each wolf has a unique personality. To maintain order among them, a male and a female dominate the pack as alphas. They establish a strict hierarchy and are the only wolves in the pack to breed. Each wolf's howl is unique. Much like fingerprints on humans, howls are distinct to each wolf. Characteristics like pitch and amplitude of these vocalizations help signify which wolves create certain howls. These vocalizations allow wolves to communicate with other wolves. They may howl to indicate their location to pack members and even show their affection. Wolves may also howl to nearby rivals to claim their territory. Wolves nearly became extinct in the continental United States. Throughout the early history of the U.S., waves of settlers traveled into the young country's then undeveloped West. Rising human populations and settlements nearly wiped out deer, elk, and bison populations, prey normally hunted by wolves. Without their usual prey, wolves then resorted to hunting livestock, making the canines targets for hunters and trappers. By the mid-1930s, wolves were almost completely exterminated. The late 20th century began to bring about change for wolves. Conservation policies, efforts to educate the public, and programs that reintroduced wolves into the wild were enacted, aiding the comeback of these legendary creatures. <laughs> 